Okay, you guys, so I am back. And I swear it just took me like 10 minutes to get my freaking lashes on. But, mm, do these feel like, hmm, that one, I don't think I got this one up all the way. But, I was trying to put these lashes on. It's, some of you guys may remember I hauled these in my last TJ Maxx Marshall haul. These are the velour lashes. And mama got, honey, I couldn't even get these to stick. I couldn't get, I just, I couldn't get them to stick. And I went with my, um, what I have on now are the Ardell 113s. Those are like my fave. So I just pulled out my Ardells, boom, went straight on. These, I'm got like a whole bunch of glue on it, letting the glue dry, put it on, and it's just not sticking. And then it's like sticking me in the inner tear duct area. Honey, mm -mm. okay, mad. So, anyways, I'm just wearing Ardell's 113s. Love them. They are my absolute fave. Trying to try something new and something that was supposed to be fancy and it just pissed me off. So, anyways, I'm about to prime my face. I'm trying something new. This is just a smaller size of the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is the Radiance. So, I think this is supposed to give you like a radiant little look. Hmm. We'll go with it. We'll see. Actually, I need something mattifying, but I just want to try this and see how it works. So let's just give it a go. I only use a little bit since it's like a radiant um, foundation primer. And with me having oily skin, I really don't need nothing to make me radiate on. So I'm just going to use this a little. I really don't need any on the forehead and just gently massage it into my skin. But anyways, so I wanted to ask you guys, like I, um, I'm just looking into my mirror. I stopped watching the reality TV shows like Love and Hip Hop, Basketball Wives, all that stuff. I stopped watching it because I just thought it was ridiculous. Um, it's not real. It's, it's fake. It's scripted. It's stupid. It just makes people look ignorant. And so I just stopped watching. I feel like it's not. It's just. I used to watch it just purely for entertainment purposes. But I just don't even find it entertaining anymore. I just find it stupid. So. Yeah, I stopped watching. But I can't help but hear because I, you know, watch YouTube a lot. And now I'm going to color correct with my pure orange. Well, this is just orange corrector from LA Girl. But I'm just going to go to the dark areas of my face and place a little on. But anyways, I stopped watching because it was just ridiculous. And the fighting... It just glorifies, you know, violence to me. And I just got sick of it. I just felt like, really? Is this the best we can do? You know, come on. Come on. So I just decided that I was going to stop supporting it. You know, it's just ridiculous in my personal opinion. And I just didn't want to watch it anymore. But I can't help but hear all the stuff that's going on with like love and hip hop with Rashida and Kirk and this Jasmine character and this baby and honey. Now, I stopped watching last season and this season. So anything that has happened over the those last two seasons, I have no clue because I don't watch it anymore. So... Let me damp my little wedge. I like to go in with my wedge and blend out my corrector. Um, but yeah, I just stopped watching it. And so now I'm hearing, like, I don't mind listening to people recap it. I'm just not going to watch it because I just, I just can't. So um, this whole thing with Kurt 
supposedly having this this baby supposedly being his and whatever <sighs> child mm -mm. okay that's all i can say no mm -mm. no and i watched the season where um kirk was acting a fool and rashida told him to go do what he needed to do so he gets up with benzino and they go to that cabin and he sleeps with that tramp girl um yeah i saw that season so it was clear kirk was wrong in that season and he cheated with that girl and rashida found out about that then here comes some more mess a couple years later with kirk and some other chick and now there's a baby i don't even really think it matters whether or not the baby is Kurt's. It just matters the fact that his ass is up and cheated yet again. And I, at, I'm married. And me and my husband have a daughter together. We have a family. I have stepsons. You know, we've been together for years. So if something like that were to happen, it's not going to be easy to walk away. But, you know... It may be easier to stay, actually, than to walk away. But you have to ask yourself, what are you willing to put up with? And, you know, this ain't Kurt's first rodeo. This ain't his first time around the block. This ain't him and Rashida's first time, you know, facing some cheating stuff with him. So, you know, I just feel like, girl, what is the, what is the dilemma? What is the issue here? Like, what are you contemplating? Like, why you ain't already packed up his little crap and kicked his ass out? Like, like what, what, what are we trying to figure out here? And like I said, I'm married and I understand that, you know, you take your vows and it's for better or for worse. And you don't just run at the first sight of trouble. But, um, uh, um, I don't fucking think so. This ain't the first side of trouble. Kurt has cheated before. So, I mean, at what point do you just say, you know what? I ain't got time for you no more. I ain't got time for you no more. Especially, you know, this is his second time doing this to her on national TV. You know, it ain't like they going through this, going through this, through the privacy of their relationship and of their home. You know, the, you know, like regular people, this is playing out. This is like international embarrassment here. Okay. This is just, this is just a hot mess. And I can't, it's, it's really easy to say what you'll do in a situation that you're not in. I feel it's real easy to be on the outside looking in and judging somebody's situation and saying, Oh, honey, mm -mm. If that was me. I would throw cro I would put cro clothes on the barbecue and burn them up, honey. Yeah, it's real easy to say what you'll do if you ain't in the situation. But I've been in a similar situation. Not with my husband. Not with my husband. This was a guy I was dating. If you guys recall back to the Draw My Life Challenge. You remember that I told you I dated a guy before I met my husband. He cheated and the girl got pregnant. He got the girl pregnant and he lied about it. And I stayed with him and it just didn't work. It wasn't a healthy situation for me or for him. And, you know, finally I wised up and cut ties with the guy. And I don't regret it. Best decision I ever made. The only thing I regret is not cutting ties in the beginning when I when he first told me. I should have asked him then and moved on with my life. But so I know what it is. The only difference is that he wasn't my husband. We didn't have any children together. We didn't have any businesses together. We had nothing together. So, you know, I wasn't losing anything. I suffered a little heartache. But hey. It was temporary. I got over it and I moved on. And that's what people...
a, a marriage is a different type of commitment. So some people will actually put up with some foolishness off their husband versus their boyfriend. Not me. But, well, I'm, I don't know. Let me just shut up because I don't really know. Hopefully, I'll never be put in that situation to be able to say what I would do if it was my husband. But, well, you know what? Let me take that back. I have to be honest and say, you know, when you're in a situation, it's just, it, it may be different. But, I just feel like that's a no-go for me. I feel like that's a no-brainer on what I would do. But, But because I haven't been in that situation with my husband, I don't know. But I have been in that situation before with a significant other. And from that situation, I wouldn't want to go through that again. So, I feel it's pretty safe to say that I would hit my husband with them papers if he did that kind of crap to me. Especially if you done got a baby at him. I think it's safe to say that we would be divorced. We would be going down that road. Never ever to return backwards. If that made sense. I said we would be going down that road. Never ever to return backwards. We would be going down the road to the divorce. Never turning back to a reconciliation. You can reconcile alone at my face. Or you can reconcile with that helper you were sleeping with. Because you ain't finna reconcile nothing with me. You out here cheating. And ain't wearing no condom. With some old helper. Nope. Not with me. Reconcile we will not. Reconcile we will not. So... But what y'all think about that? Y'all think I'm being too harsh and I'm just talking out of the side of my neck because I would never really do that? Or would y'all, what would y'all do? Like, would y'all cut your significant other? Would you leave them? Or would you just let bygones be bygones? And would y'all just move on from the situation? What would you do? I'm curious because everybody has a different stance on everything. So... So next, I am going to go do my, oh, I used, my contour was the blush Melena, Mele, Melina, whatever. It was a blush kit that I got from TJ Maxx online, NARS. I love it. I'm going to have to do a little bit more blending in a few minutes, but I'm going to go into my e.l.f. blush palette. This is the dark one. I love this palette. Um, I think I'm going to use a little bit of this darker red. So yeah. sure what else has been going on in the reality TV world that's the only thing that I've been somewhat keeping up with just because I'm curious as to how this whole thing with Kirk and Rashida is going to play out I don't really care about nothing else um I bent over the whole Jocelyn and Stevie thing for quite some time now because I'm just sick of them. They're clowns. They're a joke to me. And Mimi, I've been over Mimi ever since she did that porno and then got on this show and lied and tried to act like it was everybody else's fault but her when she the one that done orchestrated the whole daggone thing. So I've been over Mimi ignorant behind.
and whomever else is on it. I guess I've been over them too because I don't, I don't know what's going on. And don't really care to know what's going on besides with Kurt and Rashida. So anyways, I'm going to do my highlight. I'm going to use the MAC Justine Sky Iridescent Powder. I have not used this. I have had this ever since it came out, but I haven't yet to use it. So I am going to try it today. I'm going to grab me a paper towel and clean my brush off with. I might throw some glitter on my lids. I'm not really sure. I need to get some new clean towels in my makeup table for this purpose. But I have just gotten to the point where I use like the same brush and I just clean it. I spray a little alcohol on a paper towel and I spot clean it real quick so I won't have 10 million brushes to clean after I'm done with my face. So, yeah. It works for me. And I think it works for my skin. I don't think that I'm having a bad experience from it. So, here that is. I'm going to try this out. Just going to get a little bit on my brush. Hmm. Let's see. Let me look in the mirror. Do I see any payoff? Not too much. I'm going to use this as if it was a highlighter. Which it kind of can be. Consider it to be a highlighter. I think it would be too much to use as a blush for what I'm going for today. So, gives a little sheen. Works. It's pretty. <laughs> Nothing to be up in arms about. Pretty. Pretty. I'm going to use a bit. I don't want to use too much. Which I feel like I'm getting to the too much mark. So then I need to calm down a little bit. But I like it. It'll do. And I need to actually I'm gonna clean off my brush again. Because I think I'm gonna go grab my Natasha Denona glow. I might not. I, I, I'm not really ready to bust that out yet. Okay guys. So for my highlight, I'm going to use the Becca Prismatic Amethyst Illuminator Shimmering Skin Perfector. That's what it's called. And this is what it looks like. That's so pretty. And I'm just going to put that, get a little bit on my nose, you know. I think it's such a pretty color. Don't want too much. I don't want a glowy nose. Just want a little bit of color there. A little, little bit of shimmer. Not too much. person that struggles with the highlight like the cupid's bow highlight the highlight right above the lip i can never get mine to look as good as everybody else's i feel so i'm just gonna go in and try and make sure i blend okay so hmm, i kind of want to add some glitter to my lid let's see I think I'm gonna do that. So hopefully since is like I said, it's been such a long time since I've done like a makeup video, like a, a tutorial type video, and I've never done chit chat type video like this. So you guys have to let me know what you think. Uh-oh, I think this is kind of dry up. Nothing really coming out of there. Nothing but a little something, so. 
But yeah, you guys have to comment down below and let me know what you think of these type of videos. Are you just more so into the... I'm hoping that you guys aren't just into the TJ Maxx Marshall hauls. Because I want to do more than that on my channel. But hey, you like what you like. And you don't like what you don't like. Let's just know. Can't really see the glitter. This is just a little elf glitter eyeliner that I got from the Dollar Tree a while back and I think it's dried up and dried out because I'm not getting any glitter out of it. I need to throw it away. Uh, I'm so irritated by that. Yep. No glitter coming out of it. I had another one but I, I, I think it might be in my kit. I'm not really sure. And I doubt that they even have any more of these in the Dollar Tree. I got it so long ago. So. This eye isn't as strong as this eye. Because when I close this eye, I can see that part. But when I close this eye, I can't see. This part is very blurry. So this eye is the dominant eye. I really need to consider getting some contacts, but I'm not really interested in wearing contacts, but for times like this, I need So, moving on, I am going to, uh oh, I put my little mirror away. I'm going to put a little mascara on my lower lash line, and I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Link Mascara. This came from the Dollar General. I don't believe in splurging on mascara because mascara is one of those items that you have to toss out quite often. So, you know, I'm not really trying to spend $20 on something that I got to throw out quite often. So, yes, I go with cheap mascara. From the Dollar Tree and the Dollar General and wherever I can get it for like a dollar. If it's wet and wild, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be cool with it. And I like this one because it has this really small wand and it makes it easier to get to my bottom lashes. So yeah. And this is a step that I usually freaking forget because it's a step that I like to do after I have applied my face. Like after I've done my foundation and concealer and, you know, powder and highlight and all that stuff. And I usually forget to come back and add mascara to my bottom lash line. Okay, so I'm going to dry that so I don't make a mess on my face. And I'm going to just spray my face a little. With Fix Plus, I have the smaller one because it was cheaper. And now I'm going to move on to lipstick. a lot of stuff down so basically today I've been using some um pretty new products that I got and so today I'm going to try the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Lipstick in the shade Queen B um it was really pretty so I wanted to try I want to try it um I think I'm going to put the lipstick on first and then I'll go and find a lip liner that best suits it. So let's go for it. Hmm. Not bad. I was a little 
nervous that it was going to be too light. It's not looking that bad. We can tone it down with some liner. Of course, as usual. No, I think I like it. Let's find a liner. Hmm. Let's see. We're going to go with my trusty NYX Cappuccino liner first. Let's see how that works for me. I feel like this is my go-to liner. Like It answers all my problems. And my freaking battery is getting in a rig. Good thing I'm almost done. This is actually hard to leave because this thing has literally just been sitting on the freaking charger. So are you tripping, battery? I'm just going to speed this part. Up. Okay, you guys. So I'm back. This is the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little chit chat. Um, I guess get ready with me video that I did. This is my first one that I have done on my channel. So you guys, please be sure to um, click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like it, be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. Um, what videos you guys would like to see more of. If you are not subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit that little bell so that you will get notified when I upload a new video. So basically, you guys just let me know if you enjoy this and if you want to see more videos like this where I could basically use new products and give you guys impressions and my opinion on how I feel about the product as I'm using it. Um, yeah, that, that could be a thing that I do in, 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 in conjunction or no in addition to haul videos so you guys just let me know um, I'm hoping that you guys have a good response to this video so that I can have more of an option to give you guys because if all you like are hauls then I'm only gonna be uploading every now and again when I have a haul but if you guys are interested in seeing more than that then I can give you more than that just let me know how you feel so thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to respond to the things that we talked about in this video down below in the comment section. You guys, be sure to follow me on my social media platforms. It's all linked down below. So just make sure that you go down below and check it out so that you can follow me on my social media. And um, depending on what kind of response I get, I may do Instagram Live. I was on Periscope and I enjoyed doing Periscope. It was just like trolls on there. So, if you guys can follow me on those platforms, then I'll be more than happy to do, like, an Instagram live video. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, you guys, be beautiful.